Titan here, back with another episode of Titan Craft. Now, at the end of the last episode, I said that I was going to clear off that land and make it, and then come back and we'd start building the barn. Well, first things first, I want to go ahead and build some armor. Because I have not cleared off the land because I wanted you to be you guys to be a part of it and the reason I'm making armor if you didn't notice there it's because I have the TNT that we picked up from the temple and we're going to throw the armor on to kind of protect us a little bit we're going to come back over here I started clearing a little bit not very much but a little bit and we're going to come back over here, and we are going to place the TNT and blow stuff up. Now, I need two layers down. Figure if I place one block there, and if I place the other one there, that should do it. And then we just have a little bit left to fit, to clear out. And it left a little more holes than what I hoped. But it was cool. And we don't have to clear out as much. If you're wondering what that pillar is there, you know, I'd, when I started all this world and y'all witnessed, I left cheats on. Okay? I did that. So if I got really lost, I would be able to teleport right back to where I was. Well, that is my teleport marker. Let me grab this dirt here right quick, and I will show you how that's a teleport marker. Now, the teleport command slash TP, teleport, and then you put your X, Y, and Z coordinates in. So. The coordinates for that are 200, 69, oh, not V, 200. Ta-da! And that is why that marker's there. Now, in order to cook all those bricks, we're going to need coal. So, see, that didn't take very long at all, did it? But we're going to need some coal. So, we're going to go wear out what's left of this pickaxe and grab some coal from the side of this rock face here. Mainly because I'm tired of seeing it and going, ooh, hey, look, there's resources. I'm going to get them. No, I'm going to go somewhere else. And then I go somewhere else and I forget all about coal and I come back and say, like, oh, look, there's coal. Oh, I'll go somewhere else and get it. It's that ADHD thing that I was talking to y'all about last time or time before that. I don't remember. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, <laughs> so let's go and grab a little, little bit more. There's always coal on top of these. Yeah, we can't find iron or diamonds like from Big Dig. Y'all remember all that where we were getting diamonds off the sides of mountains? That was awesome. But right now we only have the nine. But I have started a strip mine so we can get more and have diamond armor and tools and obsidian and nether portals and all that good stuff. So. Let's see where our bricks are at. There we go. There's 64. There's 128. 
two more stacks of 64. I should probably get more furnaces going. But I won't. Okay. So there's all that. That's going. Now. We're also going to need some food for these guys to get them to follow us. Once we get them moved, and we're going to need some more food for us as well. Until we get the farm well established to where we can go ahead and just kill a cow at any time or whatever. Whatever floats our boat, or boats our float, whichever way you want to put it. Okay, so potatoes. We have two now. Yay, potato! Slightly separate potato farm. So let's get all this wheat planted. Minecraft is so time consuming when it comes to doing this kind of stuff when you're in survival. I've been thinking about doing a creative world where I'll just go in and build and stuff like that. Because unlimited resources make castles and all kinds of stuff. I think that'll be pretty cool. Take the stuff that I've learned over this Christmas break from reading all those Minecraft books that me and the kids have now. And just put that kind of knowledge to good use. So anyway, so there's that. There's a sheep's head through my door. Um, let's see. No. Sheepy. Back in the house. Don't make me get the hose. Get back in the house, sheepy. Back in the house, sheepy. Uh, mud crunkies. Crud monkeys. Come on, sheepy sheeps. Get in here by the fire where it's warm. Come on. Come on, sheepish. Come on, sheepish. You know what? Let's go ahead and breed a couple of y'all. And you. And we'll come over here and grab this dough. No. There we go. Now let's grab our experience. It's one thing I like about breeding the animals is you get experience from it. So that's an awesome thing. This isn't too loud in y'all's ears with all the bad and all that. Because these sheep are bad. Anyway. Bad jokes aside. Go ahead and make us. Wow. 44 whole bricks. This is going to take a while. So. Let's see. I think we're about 10 minutes into the video. So I'll tell you what, while that is cooking, let's go ahead and show you 
the strip mine. This way we can get more coal for the furnaces. And not only that, you can see there it is. We can get cobble too for more furnaces. Almost there. I hope nobody's getting dizzy because I sure am. Right. And the coordinates for this are um, 235, 14, 266. So we're on level 14, which means there be diamonds on this level. And I was a goof and forgot to make another pickaxe. Oh, but I do have a table, a crafting table, and another furnace, and all that good stuff. So, let's go ahead and take our crafting table. We're going to put it in the wall. and make a stack of sticks. Of course, that's not going to do any good when we don't have any coal or... My goodness. So. Let's go ahead and make some fences. And this way we can go ahead and start fencing off the bar <laughs> or start laying out the pins so now y'all know where the strip mine is <coughs> excuse me one more <coughs> okay now we know where the strip mine is and I have a crafting table down there I should probably put my furnace down there too. And I don't have iron or even cobble for pickaxes, so I'm just going to have to let that coal sit there. I figure I'd go ahead and make it in the corner of the cave because it was pretty much useless <laughs> without something there. Um, could have just filled the whole thing in. So, let's go ahead and head over here. Go ahead and line out where we're going to put our pins at inside the barn. I want to give them kind of a big space to roam around. Because the more room you got, the less they escape. And yes, they can escape the pins now in this version of Minecraft. Because in the last world I have a, had a decent sized barn that I actually built under my house. And there were constantly sheep and chickens getting out of the barn. So when I finally expanded this, the pins, made them a little bit bigger, they stopped getting out. So, go ahead and kind of expand the ground out here. And we want to make sure that we can get the cows up to it and the bunnies and all that. strongest element in Minecraft, a flower. You can't place a block and move the flower. So, right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, let's say 20. If 
fill all that in later. I want to give these guys minimum of area, an area of eight blocks wide. Should be good there. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, we're gonna have to add one more one more row of dirt. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, perfect. Because I'm counting the fence in with the row of eight. So, we're going to go ahead and run this way. point where I want to stop. There we go. One, two. Yep. All right, so there's that. Swap out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. have a barn ring. Not being raised in a barn, but a barn raisin. Not to be confused with California raisin. Sorry, just a joke. Just a joke, I promise. Just a joke. I need to break those two and move those out to here. this corner here. Perfect. Alright. So, 
pretty much got the outline for our barn. So I'm going to run back to the house, check on our clay, get some sleeps. And while I do that, I'm going to say this is Microbial Titan. And for Titancraft, if you like this episode, leave a like. If you want to post a comment, please do so. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye and good crafting.